Welcome. My name is George, and this is your Five Move Friday Posture Support Edition. Because I know <laughs> working with technology, curling forwards, watching an epic show, something, we kind of live in this forward action. And when you spend a lot of time leaning forwards a bit, your muscles will adapt, gravity will keep working, and your body really tries to make the most of whatever shape you're in. So just simply going from curled forwards to sitting up straight is not just as easy as, oh, just sit up straight. I used to feel like fatigued, like super tired trying to sit up or stand straight with the chest broad. Like it would be challenging for me. So the five moves designed today are a good starting point. We'll be moving through this spine a few different ways, rounding, arcing, and twisting to get that movement through the muscles, as well as strengthening through both the back body and a bit of the front body. Because I find not just stretch and not just strength helps, but a combination of both. So all you need is yourself and your mat. Let's get started on all fours. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. If your wrists don't like this, you can always be on your fists or forearms. I like to untuck toes and evenly distribute weight along the shins. And just start with a cat cow. So start from your tailbone, tuck your tail, lift your belly up, curl piece by piece of your spine until your head drops down, round, press the mid spine up more. And then again, start from the tailbone, lift your tailbone up, slowly let your belly drop, let your sternum draw between your arms, looking forwards, looking up. Again, start from the tailbone. I find this extreme articulation helps get more range of motion. So just going at your own pace. Because back when I could teach in-person classes, I would see just different ranges of motion. And especially with new students, not getting a huge range of motion with this cat-cow because sometimes you just don't move in that range. Your body's not used to it. And again, the body wants to adapt to optimize whatever you're doing. Okay, one more each way. And I'm really including the neck in there as well. You forget sometimes the neck is part of the spine. Okay, second one, all fours as well. Find your neutral spine. So think about lengthening a lot from crown of head to tailbone. Feel the belly hug in slightly. Keep your right hand to the ground, left hand behind head elbow points to the side. Gently press your head into hand. Evenly root into your shins, spiral your elbow up towards the ceiling. Spiral it towards the opposite arm. Doesn't have to touch. So we're finding that twist of the upper back. Because I find a lot of the time when we twist throughout the day, we use the hips more, which is fine, but the upper body is often forgotten about. So it's just about giving it some movement. Last two. Last one. Come back to center. Left hand down, if you need to shake out the right wrist, you can. And switching sides, so again, keep that neutral spine. Watch the head doesn't drop down, but it does help when you bring right hand behind head, gently press head into hand, and that will give you that length. Spiraling your elbow up towards the ceiling and towards your left arm. up to you what range of motion but I want you to test your edge so can you press just a millimeter more obviously working your non pain um, range of motion so pain free one more and then back to center get a little shake up to the wrists and come to kneeling get a little shake out whatever you need. Okay, the final three postures are a little bit more strengthening. So we're gonna do two focusing on strengthening the back body, one the front body, 
because I find the back body doesn't get as much strengthening as it could. So we'll do the first two in the belly. So crawl your way forwards, make your way down, any way you'd like, give a shake out. Okay. Starting with swimmer, so reach your feet mat distance wide, arms mat distance wide, palms face in. Dragging your hands towards you a bit so your chest lifts up slightly. Tuck your tail so if you had an actual tail like a cat, it would be kind of between your legs. And then keep the neck relaxed so the shoulder blades drop down your back. Right arm, left leg, lengthen to lift and lower, other side. So you'll start to feel strengthening through the upper back, like the shoulder blades drawing towards each other. You'll start to feel strengthening through the glutes and low back. All really useful posture support muscles. Last four, three, you can always stay longer, right? Two, one. Okay, now let's pose three, get a little shake out. Pose four is similar, it's just working the upper body though. So I want you to bring your feet to mat, or hip distance apart, squish your feet down. Start in Sphinx pose, so elbows under shoulders, forearms parallel. And then something I've dubbed squished Sphinx. So if you're in Sphinx pose, you squish down, so your elbows go out wide, so your arms are at 90 degrees. Again, tuck your tail, press your hips down, press your feet down, imagine someone's sleeping on them. Then lift your chest up as high as you can without lifting your elbows. Your legs are rooted into the ground, long to the back of your neck. Lift your forearms up as high as you feel comfortable with. So fly them up and then lower down. Excuse my voice projection. It's hard to project when you're on the belly. So you don't want to feel the neck activating when you lift the arms. If you do, don't lift as high. I want you to focus on your shoulder blades drawing towards each other. Last four. I find this also useful if you have, when you're in plank pose, your shoulder blades start to wing up. This helps wing them down. And last one, give a little shake out. You can also do those types of variations with light weights, I'd say like one or two pounds. Okay. One last posture, strengthening the front body. Keeping it simple transition wise. Prop up onto your forearm sphinx pose. Option to stay if you're like, mm, that's enough. Notice where your shoulders are, feel this broadness through chest, lengthening through the back of your neck. Tuck your toes and then lift up to forearm plank on the knees. This might be enough for you. Check the shoulders, see if you can feel the shoulder blades draw towards each other, front ribs knit in, squeeze the bum, squeeze the belly. Even distribution from fingertips to elbows. And then up to you, keep your knees on the ground or lift your knees up, finding stillness and finding strength. Hold for five, four, keep the neck long, watch it, the head doesn't drop down, notice the shoulder blades, last two, and last one. Roll through your belly, and press back. Give a little shake out, whatever you need. So there you have it, your five moves to support your posture. So the first two are focusing more on mobility of the spine. The final three, strength both through the front body and the back body. So hopefully you can sit up a little bit taller today. You feel that activation through the body because I find that's the, that's the biggest hurdle. Noticing how it feels to sit up straight. Notice what muscles need to be firing. Not in a specific way, just a, oh, okay, cool. I feel that. So thank you for joining me. And until next Friday. See you soon. Oh, and if you ever have requests, let me know. I usually spend the day before just thinking about what do I do? So let me know in the comments below if you have any other five move Friday suggestions. Okay, thanks again.